All right, everybody. So yeah. welcome to Space Cats Peace Turtles. That's it's right. It's nice to have you with us. So today, uh -huh. um, this is Pace Early. I'm going to be casting a Franken game here with special guest Seven. Seven. That's right. So Franken, for those who aren't aware, is actually a, um, I think in lieu Seven, in lieu of like an expansion for Twilight Imperium, it's kind of something the community came up with in order to add a little bit of variance yes. to the Twilight Imperium 4 scene. Yeah, it really is kind of the definition of mixing things up. It, yeah, no doubt, it definitely is. So essentially, uh, folks, in Franken, what happens is all of the abilities, right? The abilities, uh, the racial text, the promissory notes, uh, how many commodities you get, what your flagship is, and everything that defines a race, all of that gets chopped up into pieces. Right. Dump them in some bags and then pass it around. And everybody drafts what they think or what they can try to get as the best combination of abilities they can get yeah. for their for their Frankenstein's monster right. of a race. Right. Yeah, and that's a good way. I mean, it, and yeah, the Frankenstein thing, I mean, it's completely appropriate. You're chopping these bodies, which are like, you know, relatively okay bodies, you know, chopping them up, and you're taking the best parts of them. Some of them got good arms. Some got strong legs, right? That's right. But you're usually not going to get it all in, a, in one package, unless you're like Soul. They got yeah. right. So you could Franken draft like all of Soul's bits and have a pretty good body, but exactly. most of the other races now they don't got it like that. Yeah. So this is where oh we just God. take all the arms and legs and right. eyes that we want, yeah. put them together, and throw them on the board and okay. see what they do to each other. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So you might you might be able to pull off getting Soul's arms. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, you, but you know, you might, you might be stuck with a, a weak starting fleet's legs. You yeah. know, where you, where you only got a carrier. Yeah. So. Yeah. But, but it's better than having both like winning. You know what I mean? Like you're not gonna Franken draft really any of Winu's components. No, unless you get stuck with it somehow. You shouldn't take, I suppose. Yeah. I suppose that could happen. Yeah. Um, aside from like what Winu's starting tech. Which is something that you can draft. They get they get to pick any one they you wouldn't want. want. No, you wouldn't want that. Well, you don't want that. You can mostly get but, two. But if your choice is like Arboric starting tech, just getting Magen Defense Grid, <laughs> or picking, you're going to pick, right? You don't want Magen Defense Grid. I don't know, man. Tech. Magen has been very useful Stop. in getting to the next red technology if I have a red skin. <laughs> that's, that's... I've found that I've gotten a lot of use out of it like that. <laughs> yeah. So I, so don't so, don't just you know, Argu don't write it off. Arguably the most worthless technology in the game. Com completely arguable. Okay. Right. And arguable. I would argue that. Oh, against what? Against Dax of animators? Perhaps? Against any sound line of logic or reason. Oh my god, I'm like I would argue it. <laughs> Oh my gosh! All right. So, so right now, okay. So uh, let's introduce uh, the players. Yeah. All right. We Go got uh, Wham Dog. Are you familiar with Wham Dog at all? Seven. Never heard of him. No. Okay. So he's a new guy. We got Rwise. Rwise is uh, a good player. I think uh, at least uh, in the Discord TI community, I know who he is. I've played with yeah. him a number of times. Yeah. Rwise. Rwise's well. um, claim to fame is that he once won a game with the Winu. Oh, is that it? Uh, only overshadowed by the fact that it was against a bunch of players who were also playing the Winu. So it was a table full of the Winu, and he came out on top. I don't. I'm not even gonna get into that wackiness. Okay. I don't know what was going on there. We'll talk about it later. We've also got a uh, scooter, which people may obviously know um, as one of the Space Cats Peace Turtles mainstays. Uh, which is is that Matt or Hunter actually? Um, are they both playing? <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> Ask them. It's uh, got to be Matt. It's got to be Matt, right? Okay, so moving on. We'll, we can clear that up later, perhaps. We've also got TG Welch, which I've played with a number of, time, a number of times. Uh, definitely knows the game well. Um, is he really good or not? Yeah, he's all right, I would say. He's good. Yeah, he's, he's good, solid. Right? Yeah, he's, very, he's a very solid player. Uh, then we have the Mantis. Um whose claim to fame is having the Mantis build, which we will actually explain 
um, whenever we see the player set up the tiles. So another thing about Frankendraft, uh, which we may have forgotten to mention, is you pick your starting tiles as well. Right, yeah. so you're gonna pick three blue tiles with planets on them. Exactly. You've got two red tiles. Now, when you're picking these tiles, mm -hmm. the catch is you want to pick what goes in your slice for both the blue tiles and the red tiles as well. Because whatever red tiles you pick, so if you get stuck with a supernova or a nebula, that's gonna be stuck in your slice. Yes. And this setup of of tiles. It's probably I would say like a third random. Uh, right. All of the things that you draft. You take those things, and a third of that, it's all going to end up near you, closest to you, closer to you than anybody okay. else, more accessible to you than anybody else, but mixed up in a probably 30% random <laughs> order. The player actually has a lot of control as to where it ends up, but but those random, those randomness, that randomness provides a lot of variability um, and excitement, I think, for the for the boards. Yeah, it absolutely does. Like my my only point is you don't want to get stuck with a supernova if you don't have to be stuck with it, right? No, not unless you got like Magmus Reactor and Gravity Drive. Okay, which that's, is a that's possibility. A good point. That's a good point. It, it's probably never. There's a one percent chance it works out that way that you get all those things in that combination. Um, but that would be the only time in which it wouldn't be a complete deterrent for you. That, that's actually a really good point yeah. because of the way Franken works. You could turn that into a benefit for you because it's a border yeah. no one else can cross, but you can get into. So, Absolutely. you know, we'll, Absolutely. we'll probably not see something like that. It would be pretty special to see that kind of combination. Um, so, let's see. The players are still picking. So, actually, uh, what, what I would like to show... Can we get, ask them to uh, type in the chat, ask them to put one of the checklists up on the, uh, yeah, sure. up on the board so that we can go ahead and go over that real quick. Hey, Celia, welcome. I mean, I'm, I'm the black here. player, so I could honestly do that myself. Yeah, go ahead and copy one and just put it on the board where it's visible. Uh, so hey, could you guys promote me, please? Vargon, what's up, buddy? Could you promote, promote me, please? So, there we go. So essentially, whoops. Boom. Okay. So essentially, this is this is what the players are going to be using. Okay. So you're going to draft two promissory notes. Um, one from two different of the seventeen races, depending on what makes it into the into the lineup. Yes. Uh, and then you're going to be picking one. So essentially, yeah. these gray, uh, grayed out boxes here are the ones that you're not going to be using. So for right. example, you're going to draw two yellow tiles, you're going to draw three blue tiles, and you're going to use all of them. Yeah. Right? But if you draw you're going to draw two promissory notes and then you're going to pick one at the end. So it allows you a little bit of flexibility in in your in your drafting setup. Yeah. So you get two starting fleets, uh, to starting the starting technologies, so whatever that race starts with for their technologies, uh, the starting commodities. Uh, I think, interestingly, in the commodities department, do you jump on a four? If you no, see a four you come out, you don't jump on a four. <laughs> no. You look at it and then you you, you count it that it's there. Anything less than the four, you don't even really count that it, that's there until it gets really late. But if you if you if you see six, now that's something you're looking at. Um, but I would even even a six level commodity works best if you got some other kind of trade ability to go with it. Um, it's something that you definitely take a hard look at. But there's a lot of value out there. Um, and commodities are I wouldn't say are the highest priority. Not for me. I played a lot of Franken, and, and that's not my highest priority. Absolutely. So, so let's let's talk about that for a second mm -hmm. while these players finish yeah. Yeah. Uh, finish yeah. setting up. Actually, yeah. so we have ten different uh, categories of things that you're going to pick here. Yes. Right. Yeah. So among the top tier of things that you got to look at, yeah. What what are you thinking that that players really need to focus on early? Mm. Okay. So <sighs> having good planets is always great. Good, uh, like Barony's home system. Those are good planets. Oh, okay. That's going to get you six resources out the gate that you can spend round one, which even puts it, I think, almost more value than some of the other high-value yeah. blue tiles because you can't spend them round one. You can spend all of Barony stuff round one. So if I'm understanding what you're saying correctly, yeah. you're saying home systems and blue tiles are like in the top tier. But yeah. What, but what home systems there are with those blue tiles factors into your decision-making process? Well, definitely. And I wouldn't actually say that home systems necessarily are top tier. 
here because you're generally going to get a four. Like there's there's a lot of four about four resource home systems. What we're talking about basically being able to buy tech without a struggle early on. Um, they're they're out there now, but Barony's home systems just different. And really, in a Franken draft, that's the stuff you're looking for. Is mm. the stuff when you look at it, you say, "Yeah, but that thing right there is just different." It's the extenuating different. circumstances that are going to set you apart from the rest of the table, yeah. the rest of the players' yeah. rank and drafts that they get. And those they, are the things. They give you those edges throughout the game. I suppose those are the things you're going to see go. You're going to see <laughs> nice. Latani too. So my infantry can produce right off the bat. That's going to go. Space dot, uh, floating factories. It's going to go. All of these things that make it so that the things that you look at a race and say, "Well, they're." breaking the rules of the game. That's mm. the stuff that's going to go fastest. And breaking it to such a degree that it get, that it just gives you this massive edge in a Franken. Now, that being said, Seven, yeah. these players are going to all be overpowered, right? After this Franken draft, any decent Franken draft, you're, you're going to be looking at six overpowered yeah. races. After it's a it's really a bunch of monsters on a board in one way or another. Some races are geared for military conquest. They're just a monster. They can take what they want. You can't say anything about it. They're just going to have it. Some are just point scoring monsters. You can see a cat take like Mechatol Rex will probably get to take in round one. I mean, that's what a Franken draft is. It, yeah, the, it's like a 50 50 like chance. A Whereas in a regular like, game, like round like one, really if Win is on the board and they get everything yeah. set up perfectly, but in a Franken draft, the impossible becomes quite possible. Yeah, so you almost feel like in a Franken game, agenda phases happen in round one. <laughs> yeah, it's happening wow. quick. Everything okay. happens faster. Okay. The, the points are scored like faster, players are eliminated well, faster, or start like, faster, <laughs> people rage quit faster. Right. It, like, th like, that's what a Franken draft, decision, everything in TI, you put some nitrous in it, you turn it up to 10, and that's what you got on a board. And and actually, I, I, I want to um, take a, a moment and mention that Mantis is, the Mantis is the dude that made the Franken draft. And... The Mantis right. is one of the most, as far as the, the online T, uh, TTS, Twilight Imperium community, the Mantis is one of the most important, uh, it's like a pillar of the community because he does all of these kinds of things that, that nobody else would game. even, you know, I deign to do. To um, and he's improved <laughs> every aspect of how we play part. Twilight yeah, Imperium online. Great. And this Franken draft is, um, I guess, probably his Mona Lisa. You know, I mean, it, it's it's uh, it's a it's a masterpiece to work hard. So yeah, I I would have to absolutely agree with that. I mean, there's a reason why the Mantis build is named after him. There's a reason why experienced players who have played this game 20, 50, 100 times are gravitating towards Franken because it's such an amazing creation that he was actually able to. Uh, to come up with. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, I would also be remiss not to mention that he only did it because I said he couldn't. So, really, I created the Franken draft. So you egged him on a little bit. You know. Well, no, he would never have done it if not for me. Okay, so you definitely ate yeah. him on a lot. Much like many of the great things that he's done. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. Don't don't uh don't be too humble here. Oh, uh, I, I I won't. <laughs> don't worry. So so Phonics asking how much Mantis paid you to say that? You can just sell it. It, it only. <laughs> well, I he I he gave me a dis he, I gave him a discount because I got to say the last part. So I see, yeah. I see. That that makes sense. So. Uh, the players are still drafting here, so let's go ahead and actually delve a little bit into what I'd like to, to actually get your take on. Yes. So out of these 10 categories that we're looking at, what ones can you really put on the back burner? Can you say, you know what, screw it, uh, I want this draft to move along, I'm going to I'm gonna focus on these things, these things are way in the back burner, I don't even care about them that much. I would say, generally speaking, some of the last to go are commodities. If it's not six, then you can get it later. So not even in a middle tier. You're thinking commodities aren't a bottom. Because in my opinion, I was, and now I've only played a few Franken games. Yes. Obviously, I don't have as many Franken games under my belt as you do. But I was putting commodities in more of a mid-tier section of, uh, of picks here. But you're saying, no, commodities are bottom tier. Well, if you think about it, there are 12 commodity tiles out there total. Only one of them is worth six. Uh, many of them are worth four, and some are worth three. You, so you can pretty much always get a four or a three value commodity tile. 
um, in in the Franken trap. Um, and you think three is good enough? You don't care about prioritizing four. It's just not important enough. No, not not unless I'm looking at a bag and like there's nothing good in there. Then maybe I take that opportunity to say, let me get my commodities out of the way now or something of that nature. But no. Commodities generally go on the back burner for Interesting. sure. Interesting. Okay. What else would you feel is on the back burner? Like like promissory notes, for example. Yes. That can't be too important. There are a couple of promissory notes out there that that do have a lot of value. Um, like research agreement. Research agreement. Okay. Sells fast. Everybody wants it. it I hear. Makes a ton of dough. Like, I hear what you're putting mean, down. That makes sense. You're just a straight dealer. So that basically your tech is almost free. You know, like that's what research agreement can do for you. Is you can always find a customer to look looking for research agreement. Because you're selling research agreement for like four trade goods yep. is what you're Three, saying. Three, four. You know, as long as I get some value, yeah, you can have this tech. Yeah. So you're almost just. You're almost like a. Like a like a Jolnar ability of just spending a token and getting a tech at that yeah. point because you're selling research agreement and the great thing is you sell it and then you just get it back and then you sell it again next round. Yeah, right? you just keep selling it. Okay, so um, so promissory notes that category may be on the back burner, but there are certain promissory notes you need to pay attention to when they come through. Yes, I would definitely it's say a it's a back so burner is a red tile, category um, with yeah, some exceptions to the rules. Uh, and, and flagships are kind of the same. Flagships are mm. as a back. There are a lot of great. Everybody's got great flagships that have these cool abilities. I love this. Um, but there are certain flagships that are just a little bit different. Like if you happen to draft Latani two or Spec Ops two, and the Alistair comes along, it's really hard to turn down the ability to turn those Latani twos or Spec Ops twos into straight warriors in the air. Um, if that Alistair comes. So a lot of players will be looking to, to combo those things up for sure. Absolutely. So, so you're actually saying, correct me if I'm wrong here, but yeah. it's not even necessarily about putting any of these 10 categories on the back burner as much as it is looking for combinations between the aspects that you're picking, yeah. right? Because flagships yeah, totally. could be technically a back burner category, but if you got something big to combo it with, you need to jump on that important flagship. 100%. 100%. 100%. Now, if you want to, um, we can actually take a second um, and take a look at what one of the players has drafted. You won't be able to see it, but, uh, but let's just go, let's just take a look at RY's ability. We're about, we're about halfway through this draft now at this point. Uh, maybe a little bit more, depending on, uh, yeah, we're, we're almost complete with this draft. So uh, if we take a look at RY's faction, so far, he has... Should we get them to promote me so I can take a look at this, too? You can't both be black. Oh, well. Okay, and we need we kind of need you to be doing that, yeah. actually. Okay. So, but what I can do is just tell you what Arweiss is packing, um, and then go from there. So, Arweiss's faction abilities are scavenge. He's going to be gaining so trade goods every time he takes go, a planet. Three... Go ahead and read scavenge for our viewers real quick. After you gain control of a planet, Since gain a trade good. One, so that's right. a really good economic, especially early. You're taking all these planets. You're just getting money. That's a good one that goes pretty quickly. He probably took that fairly early in the draft. Right. So, And it's one of those abilities that has uh, a good initial benefit for the first couple of rounds. It has diminishing returns as the game goes on. But the thing is, it can get you out to that early uh, lead with regards yeah. to building units or acquiring technology that you just wouldn't have without it. Yeah, and I would say it's, you know, maybe probably in the ballpark yeah, of about yeah, Barony's home system. Yeah. Barony gets that good initial investment. So scavenge, yeah, that's a great ability. Get you some trade goods really right up front think. and throughout yeah, the game. I so I, you could probably yeah. expect to get like 8 to 10 trade goods out of that, maybe a little bit more if you're on the aggressive side. Interesting. Okay, so um, I'm looking over here, and we're we're taking a look at our wise, our wise's draft. Yeah. Uh, so it looks like he has, and I like the way that they're laying it out. This should actually be standard. Well, this is doing. only our wise, and maybe he's doing it just for me. Well, that's smart. We should make that standard <laughs> from now on. So take that take that down, somebody. Okay. Uh, um, if we could, I'd I'd like to take a look at his flagships okay. because I think uh, you made a good point earlier about comboing flagships. I think it's a little bit of an underrated category for uh, picking earlier yeah. in the Franken draft. So right now he's gone with the Van Hagen, the Alistair, yeah. right? 
Yeah. So when you're looking at the Van Hag, is that how you pronounce it, by the way? Van Hag, that's fine. That, that's what I use, right? That's fine. That's so the Van Hag is essentially this kamikaze bomb that you can throw into people. Um, and then uh, the Alistair, which is an interesting flagship, uh, at the start of a space combat, choose any number of your ground forces and they can participate yeah, as fighters in the combat, right? Uh, the, the Necro flagship. Um, both of those are good choices. Let's, you know, since they're still drafted, let's just take a look at that. Are there any combinations you're seeing from RYs? Which should he lean towards one of those flagships over the other? Well, I can tell you, RYs will most certainly take the Alistair. Uh, and the reason is because he also has Latani too. So his, his infantry are uh, he'll start with Latani 1, the Latani 1 unit, um, a, which can build, has a production capacity of 1. Uh, it can build after activating, taking planets and whatnot. So he's going to be looking to combo the Alistair and the Latani Warriors um, to have a really functional uh, air fighting I, force. I, I... Um, so really yeah, draft. he'll most certainly take the Alistair yeah, in this he case. Can, he can just, as as he can, can if you're not allowed uh, to take anything, really uh, take it easy on fighters, add those ground forces, keep them. building them while, while he's yeah. moving, uh, and then when he needs to make yeah, an attack against his neighbors, which, oh my let's be honest, and Franken is going to happen. Uh, yeah. yeah. Alright, so I'm just, I want to take a second, I'm just going to lay out all of Arwise's race, and... Just, just like, well, show you the synergy. So he has a perfect right Frankenstein's now, monster. Like what yeah, you would want in a in a Franken draft, he's got in, in spades. Yeah, Let's start off with the tiny two, the tiny. He's gonna have the tiny warriors. They have production capacity, so he's just gonna mass those ground forces like nobody's business and be able to build whatever he wants. He's got the Alistair, so it's a perfect combination flagship for the tiny two for the tiny warriors. Um, so he's he's gonna be able to do what he wants militarily, really. Now let's look at his abilities. He also, in addition to scavenge, early money up front, he also has oh, oh, orbital man, drop. Ooh. Spend a strat token to get more of those super ground forces oh, my wherever he wants on his planets. Oh my goodness. And indoctrination. Oh. Spend influence to turn other people's ground forces into your ground forces. How, how is anyone going to be taking planets from Arwise during this game? No. They, and what, look at his starting text. He's got... A green neural, yes. so he can work well, towards Latani too, quickly. very quickly. Yes, very and then quickly. he's got, you know, plasma, which isn't a bad starting tech to complement it either. And um, we, we can take a look at his at his planets. He does not have a green skip, so he's he's not going to be rushing to the to the Latani twos. But he's going to get there. You you can believe that, no doubt. <laughs> and Daxiv ain't going to be all bad either. So he's going to take Daxiv to get there, and not mine, and not mine, because he's going to jump on there, indoctrinate your ground force get daxiv so he's going to gain two ground forces out of there if he comes and hits your ground forces he's getting two ground forces and then he's going to build ground forces with those ground forces so he's set up for straight ground military conquest and the alistair makes him gives him the air superiority as well he's going to be a force to be reckoned with and these are the combinations you are looking for in franken because let's be honest as you mistake Mistake-free play is important, right? Playing the game well is important. Yeah. But where you really, where your bread and butter is of having a great Franken game is all about the finish. Yes. It really is. It is. And this is what you want to see from players, making these amazing combination choices. Oh, yeah. Exactly what RY is doing. Proving his experience right here with this with this draft. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's geared up. He's going to lean heavy into green. He's also got production biomes. And he's just going to use those ground forces. The ground forces yeah, that the money and the alistair that's what he's that's the game he's going to be playing and it's going to be very <laughs> difficult to stop him. so sulfonic is making a nice point here if we go back and look at the planets that he's drafted yes does he have a, a reasonable amount of influence in order to grab some extra tokens to make use of that orbital drop, which is going to be super powerful for our wise no he doesn't really he, ha he has, has almost no influence in his entire slice. So it goes back to what we were talking about earlier. So you're going to have, you might have these great, you know, amazing legs and a buff torso, but your your left arm's a little weak, you know? So he's he's going to, so he does have some great combinations, but he's going to have to look in other directions to, to, to make up for it. Well, what we can probably look for him to do as well is grab hyper metabolism. So okay. he's probably going to get every green tech you can imagine, unless he finds a way to skip around or jump around. He's going to get 
guy. Neuro, he's going to have neural motivators, hypermetabolism. He'll get an extra token for that. So the having the influence is okay if you got that hypermetabolism, which gives you an extra activation token each round um, uh, so you can use that to back you up. You so, uh, and this dude's taking Megatol Rex. So he's going to have six influence. Like, Megatol Rex is going to be part of his slice. Just it's going to take him a couple zone. rounds to get there, but when he does, that's it. Oh. Uh, yeah, and, and, and nobody's and taking it. It's going to be very difficult to get our wise uh, off of that, around. right? With these, with nigh this, impossible. If yeah, he with, puts his owl, if he puts, if he takes uh, Mechatol Rex and simultaneously is. drops the Aller, right. Alistair in space, yes, yeah. it will be impossible, really, to get him off of there. Just, uh, so I think we can say that uh, our wise is set up to have a very uh, powerful, powerful game. One of the back. one of the He's best built. combinations that we've seen yeah. from a from a Franken draft right here. It's a really a dream. It's almost a dream what he's got going on. Yeah. Great combinations, great combinations. So um, we are also going to be looking. Um, so we do have uh, some overlays here for you uh, that we, you know, we want to populate. There's, there's no information for them yet, but we do have some overlays set up uh, as the players reveal what their picks were. <laughs> we are going to be filling those in with the abilities they chose, the flagships they chose, the promissory notes, all of that, and then we can kind of compare and contrast what these players have for their Frank and builds. Yeah. Um, and then we'll also be able to look at uh, the objectives, uh, the technologies that they, that they ended up starting with, because that is going to factor into how this game obviously progresses after the initial setup is complete, which we're, which we're already ready to get started here right now. But I, I'm kind of excited. I think this is going to be highly competitive and we're going to see some real franken monsters after this draft well i i don't expect it to be that competitive uh i think mantis is the best player on the board i think he's going to win the game but it's going to be quite a show um now if you want to the the fight franken draft is complete and they're about to build the galaxy so let's just listen listen in and see as the galaxy is built the reactions from the players so you would place first uh green uh, everyone can play first. First all, the first no all doesn't matter. Ah, uh, well then. What the fuck? Wow. This, wow. this is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. So, um, the first tile that they place next to Mechatol Rex is completely randomized. Of the five tiles, three of which have planets in them, in their bag, everybody shuffled and pulled out a tile. Five so of the six were, com it, were, were empty. So, we home, have so basically a barren. Mechatol Rex. It is, okay, this so is statistically almost rest. impossible, but it's, it's going to make for a great, uh, a great show. Yeah, We're three, already off to a great start. I think that's going to make this, this galaxy yeah, more interactive, first, right? Because okay. all of the resource planets are going to be in the second and third rank. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's going to be, <laughs> they're in, of it course, it's going to be objective dependent, like if but put it's going to press these players to, to be more competitive well. yeah. about grabbing equidistant yes. planets. Because we're going to we're going to see a lot of equidistant planets, right? Uh, yes. I mean, it's it's most very most likely. I mean, we're going to see how it plays out here. The we do planets, have players drafting. All of the planets in this galaxy oh, are going to be very close to the players. Um, and so, if you're if you're looking to to <laughs> grab funny. something, you're going to be doing it right in front of somebody's face. You can face. put it here, either of these spots. Wow. Yeah, I'm not going to put it right in front of my My goodness. Dog. Yeah. That is that is a very interesting initial placement. That's I I can't remember ever seeing something like that. I did not. It's very cool. So the the planets that we do have, so we're getting populated pretty quick here. Yeah. All right. So we do have. All right. So we have an equidistant blank. We have another equidistant blank. We have another equidistant. Blank. No, I'm sorry. Uh, we have an equidistant planet and two blanks. There are rules. Um, oh, we but have I don't get a fucking choice because of this. Another e okay, so we've got a big <laughs> equidistant planet over That's here uh, in Tekron well, Torkron. I I no, I didn't. You're right. We have a, I didn't a pretty. A Look at all the tech specialties. I could put uh, it there. Uh, we got an equidistant Lodor, <laughs> which is kind of nice. This sucks. <laughs> uh, equidistant oh, shit. Nebula, no, put it there. creating Holy a little shit. bit of a yeah. border. Yeah. A lot of stuff coming out here. We got an equidistant Wellen. 
not at all. So that will definitely be fought over. So, so we got, we have basically three reasonable equidistant systems here in Lodor, uh, Tekron, Torkron, and Wellen. So, you know, we'll definitely be looking to see some com competition on those systems, right? Suffice to say, the planets, these players are going to be living in qu close quarters. They're going to be huddled up right next to each other. Um, there's going to be a lot of long distance Mechatol Rex grabs. Um, so it's going to be a very, it's going to, it's almost like King of the Hill. It's almost going to be like a game of King of the Hill, which Twilight okay, Imperium has some of in it inherently, yeah. but everybody really is separated from the hill. There's oh distance God, between you and a, the hill. Great, so it's going to be a map. very cool, very cool this game. Let's listen to what the how, uh, like players the, are saying about the it The gravity here. rift with the blank spaces form like a question mark. <laughs> yeah, that's... This is a very weird map. <laughs> Travesty. See, the Riddler made this map. <laughs> okay. so that, so that, now you can Riddle remove one. This Batman. Yeah, now you can remove one of each component from your bag, and then once everyone's done that, we can remove. That's what we're, dele we're deleting a component. Like we're not playing. Yeah, with the oh. thing exactly. Del delete one of each type that's left in your bag. I just need to choose. Everything is chosen. I just need to choose my faction text, and it's actually pretty hard. Man, I don't know about the. I got two promissory notes I'm very fond of that I don't know what to do with them. I have a really yeah. easy choice here. Dump the two commodities, dump Stymie, dump uh, the Sardak starting tech. <laughs> I only have to choose them like one thing. Oops, I, I got my logic backwards. Hold on. So we're actually oh, populating um, hmm. the choices here right now. Well, I am. Wait, did I not draw? Oh, wait. But it is a little bit of work. All right, so, so Matt and Hunter are both in this game. They're both playing in this game. Uh, one of them's Scooter and one of them's Wham Dog. I don't know which promissory note Scooter is Hunter. Scooter's got to be Hunter, and Wandog's got to be Scooter's Matt. Somebody said that. Oh really? Okay. I thought Scooter comes up in the in the Discord. And I have not. That's its own entity. You you might be right. If somebody knows, please let us know. Yeah. But the other one is Wandog. The trouble is neither of their Discord names match up with their TTS names. So. <laughs> so they're confused. Yeah. Uh, so the chat, yeah, a lot of the chat right now is saying that uh, Scooter is Matt. Right? Scooter's uh, Matt. Then uh, Wham Dog is Hunter. Hunter. Right. Yeah, All right. But... Cool. Glad we sorted right, that out I'm on their stream. <laughs> <laughs> and we have had conversations. Well, I haven't. I haven't had a conversation with any of them ever. Um, but Wait, actually, like, we know who they are thing? now. Okay. So. It's not fully populated yet, but as they build it, let's go Wait, ahead. Actually, maybe, maybe I don't. Maybe yeah. I'm not of it right. I have Gosh. arbiters. I have can arbiters. quickly take a look. Find it. Does it make sense to keep both? Yeah, I didn't mess anything up because I actually can no. cards and then sell them. Yeah, but he already can tell them. Spinet only lets them sell uh, one. Okay, here we go. Right, I can't. have got the Franken display up. Yeah, don't right, Spinet. Spinet is a one And unfortunately, the only thing we have so far, but you can see uh, what home systems oh, yeah. the individual if you have players yeah. went ahead and went with instead of just scrolling I was, I was, My brain was like, not Yeah, and if you take a look, um, every all but okay. one of these races now? have at least a four resource system. Uh, 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 and. Shit. One of them has uh, L1, Z1, oh, X's sorry, home no, system, actually, which means Baronies was not even up for grabs. Uh, yeah, there's um, a so L1, a Z1, X largely here. would be considered uh, the best home system of the group. Has only the stuff um, that you need. And another one has Windows. And Windows oh. is not a terrible Yeah, before you grab your, your promise or your home system, it's worth four uh, influence. Um, easy, uh, eat one planet, easy to defend. Um, so uh, like a, a pretty well, solid home system. Pillage, the Nalus, or the Telepathic, or? I have... No, I don't have any weird stuff. I have technological singularity. That's not. I, I have right. spec ops too, so I need. So technology. yeah, if you if you want. So uh, we we oh, took a oh, look at yes. RYC's yes. race, I need, I need um, and we kind of know what he's packing. We knew of, what he would pick uh, ahead of times, uh, so we know what's going on there. Uh, if we want to, we can go ahead and take a look at Hunter Wham Dogs um, race here, so and he's taking his time. He really is taking his time. But I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna search his bag and look what's in there. 
Okay. All right. The, yeah, uh, and I'll and I'll go ahead and awesome. just fill. Uh, so I have a question. I'll fill in these abilities uh, while you do that. Okay. So yeah. Do, uh, so Whamdog uh, has Jolnar starting have, tech. So he's going to start with one uh, in each two? technology. What's That's one know, of the best the, cards you can uh, get. It's, it's one of the best abilities you can get straight out the gate. Jolnar starting tech. They're so sweet. Um, he that also has Spec Ops 2. At the end of the so he had, he got Soul's Arms um, with some of <laughs> Jolnar's brains. Uh, so yeah, exactly. the reason that Jolnar <laughs> can't fight um, is their tech. He has that, and then he can fight like Soul. So he's got the Spec okay, Pack and Spec Ops 2. Um, the whole game. He also has right. Mejian Implants. So he's got one of Ysarl's mainstays and being able to snatch people's uh, um, action cards, which leads into um it's a green tech uh, so he'll be able to go neural hyper magion on implant if he gets a green skip so that's that's probably what he's planning and something of that nature um he also has unrelenting <laughs> nice. so not only is he not I'm, fragile I'm and getting a minus one dollars combat out. rolls he's unrelenting sardak's main ability so he's getting a plus one <laughs> to all of his rolls that's why um, i play like at least and then he's got uh and then he's got x child's flagship so uh, yeah, he'll like also be running around blasting people with uh, uh, his PDS like network is going to be off the charts as well. Um, so know. he's packing the some serious is probably heat. the number of games I play, not the fact that I play. So let's while, while I build it, actually, yes. let's go ahead and, By the way, Quantum's and coming pull for your this record. up while I populate yeah, it. Yeah. Frank and Friday yesterday. So that people can, I know, can and, see. Uh, okay. I lost one uh, last week, so. And... My record is not that high. <laughs> My record is two. Hey, I got the third act play. All right, Please, so let's see. We got to fill in Wham Dogs, Unrelenting Stall, and Quantum. Oh, yeah. And then I left out I like I the like Quantum Entanglement, meaning that his stuff, but also his any wormholes. Like now, the trouble is he doesn't have any wormholes so inherently in his slice, two, right? Uh, uh, like which is something that you day. should look yeah. to do if you're going to get ability <laughs> like that. But all of the wormholes for him are adjacent to one another. So... And nomadic. Which feels pretty aggressive. In Matt's... Yeah. Matt's that's not, not bad. The floating factory ability. usually Where's encourages my... people to leave their home, and without nomadic, that's a bad idea. But yeah, no yeah. Sorry, sorry, I dealt Nation. stuff to people. I was, I, I, I got it out of my first bag and was like, I don't know if I'll actually use it. But then my next bag was nomadic. I was like, oh shoot, that feels like a jackpot. I Green does not have his abilities out yet. Well, he no, oh, yes, he, he does. does yeah. Okay. Uh, so we see there he is nomadic, meaning he doesn't care about his home system. You can take it if you want to. He can still score points. Yeah, I had a hard time Technological singularity, text, but which then means I realized I he's going to be stealing technologies. And brilliant, so um, I don't give a shit about... Like oh, Necro. Yeah. Necro's so, main ability. So here's a question. Since he has... <laughs> I have a tech, could you move your hand? Uh, since he and has technological sorry, singularity, are you going to be looking week, for so Scooter to skip taking and following tech? During this game? No, most think... most likely he will invest Although in grabbing his own technologies thing. and stealing them. If 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 there's an opportunity, so, by the he's way, gonna do it. Cause he, and he also has uh, floating factories, mind area, you. Um, so he'll be sending docks to do. go where he wants, put them on hit some units, take some techs. Um, like, he's going to be kind of a monster, sheet, so yeah, he's it's going to be very opportunistic. You, what you can look whatever, for him to do but, um, is like the script purchase but himself the technologies the he needs to get to his other uh, to see what you have. his sure. faction technologies, which are Floating Factory 2 and trans Parasteel Plating. Because he has Floating Factory 2, does he start with Floating Factories? Yeah, he starts with Floating Factories level 1, right? So if you get the the faction, the unit upgrade faction technology. You also get the corresponding starting unit that you goes know, with that like technology. Tech too, okay. That really, nah, so, um, no, uh, tech no, starting he's tech, actually starting he's tech crafted tech himself like a very good race as well. Um, I, technological I singularity my, uh, is one of those abilities that you just take it. If you see it, the, there's the certain things that you want that you just grab. Technological yeah. singularity is one of them because it can save you so, so you many resources you and get you so much there? technology that you would not uh, be able to get no, otherwise. No, but I don't put them in my in my deck. I just put them next to my so, deck on my player. So, as opposed to needing like a blue skip to skip anti-mass deflectors and get to gravity drive, 
he's going to be looking to just steal any mats, right? His his tech skips are all over the map, all right? And, and he can get there with his floating factories, which he'll have very quickly in addition to gravity drive. Did I select the wrong thing? All right. Here? I'm ready. Oh, here we go. Um, I'm not seeing transparasteel. All right, if everyone's ready, we can roll for speed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not ready either. Give me a sec. Transparent steel plating. Uh, there it is, up at top. Fourth one down. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yep. I was looking at it for uh, alphabetical order. That just didn't happen. Yep. Do you want to fill in his flagship as well? Oh yeah. Uh yeah. Uh, so he has the Gamora Nor, which is the Sardak Nor. I think we should uh, do like flagship. a roll call right. of whatever we yep. have. Oh wait. Well, the, uh, and this uh, is, no, is, this is green. green. Sorry. They're they're also. Oh yeah. Pacer and seven. All right. Yeah. Like, they've got a spreadsheet where they're up. Uh, well, I think because Sardak was already. Not Sar. I'm sorry. Sardak. Yeah. Boom. Okay, and his promissory note? Promissory note is Techlar, Techlar Legion. Legion. Yep. So he's got the Sardak. So he will be, and because he took the no, Sardak promissory note, he will be playing the Sardak. That so is does anyone his, have any base what his that race is, faction sheet he's using, and also the counters will be uh, Sardakian. I need Sardakian. the soul base unit. So let's go ahead and okay, fill in. Do you have in, any special um, units that you need Mantis covered? here. Yeah. So the flagship that he went with, uh, so like if, the no, Wrath of Kanara, which is the Khan's like, flagship. If you have, like, if your oh, sheet yeah, had yeah, 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 yeah. I the promissory uh, note. Yeah. Uh, he uh, took anyone else need anything? Military support. Like no. I said, one of those real bangers. He's going to look to make some money off of that. And oh, his I, I action cover, techs are... Well, he has Super Dreadnoughts. Oh, yeah. 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 Which is very nice. Yeah, there you go. I just put the Dreadnought on your sheet. Uh, just turn it around and, and put it at the right spot. Chaos map. Anyone else? This other one. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look good. at Welch now. Are they already moving on the board yet, or are they still? Are no, they are still. They are still working on. Do you have unrelenting? So we have a we have a minute to um, try and populate this. Promise. So we're looking at Welch now. On the promissory note. He has a research, yeah. research agreement. Yeah, yeah. that's a real banger, and, uh, and yeah, TG loves that thing. He likes to sell that tech. Whatever it is, add the tokens. Generator. And he does have impulse and erase, I believe. Yes. Exactly. All right, now let's go ahead and finish our wise up Maddie, here. Keeping both of your uh, his flagship, we are looking at instead. the Alistair. Of course. No, no, Somebody I, already I, did I the like planets. These, okay. okay, and does anyone have the other one, Galactic Threat? Promissory note, we are looking at the Alistair. He what? has. Are you keep them both your drafted. Uh, the trade convoys, which is the con's uh, yep. ability to give um, people, basically make other people hook on. That's yep. kind of uh, what you're doing. And there. then for faction techs, we are looking at Latani 2 and production biomes. Accurate. I'll keep it. Um, Latani 2. Oh, he already did that. Wait, sorry, you meant the tech. Yeah, I'll get rid of this impulse core bullshit. Help me find production biomes. There they are. Okay. Can't believe we're just going to play. Twilight Imperium now. <laughs> <laughs> Your the hardest part, maybe. Pay attention, let me know when they are about, actually the starting. They, they, they might they be able to. They're, 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 they're not, they're coming around. Stream, too. Okay. Uh, uh, so, Wham Dog's uh, flagship. So All right, we let, let's do it. And also, we, we, need, we need to reveal our names. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, I need Wham Dog here. No idea how to name His promissory note. What do we got? He's packing the war funding, which is Baronese. And his faction techs. We're looking at Spec Ops and Mageon. Nice. Yeah. That's pretty like good. I, yeah, and that's and that's a great combo for him. Um... <laughs> Jock Nar, that's fucking hilarious. Shut the oh, fuck so up, Oh, so now the, the players are actually naming the factions. So they we are, can take yeah. a look um, oh at Hunter. <laughs> Hunter is named his faction the nice. Jock Nar, which is awesome. Uh, and Hunter is Wham Dog? Yes. Okay, yeah. How do you spell that? Uh, Wham dog? Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I see I it. Can start saying all the shit I have. Okay. Like. Yeah. So now let's listen uh, in yeah, on let's Sorcerer as sure he tells us what he has. So I have analytical, brilliant, guild chips, Ooh. the Jolnar flagship, Hexo triremes, and quantum data hub nodes. Noise. And I am the universities of Hakan. 
Mark. Yeah, so uh, one second, I'll be right back. Yeah, so Snorcer has away. gone yeah. with uh, Village, Reclamation. Oh, okay, and here's Mantis. I am the pirate custodian. God pirate damn it. goblin custodians <laughs> from Mantis. I don't know Mantis. my name yet, but I have nomadic, technological singularity, and arbiters with the Techlar Legion and Floating Factory too. Wait, the clan of Necro. Well, what do you want to call them? You think? Uh, well, I don't want it to just be the the mix of things. I'm thinking like. Yeah, sure. Gimme stuff. <laughs> Gimme stuff, he says. My name is Gimme. Gimme your shit. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you on the name. Go ahead. Okay. Sure, sure. All right. That's funny. Masters of Trade Galactic Threat Research Agreement and the SAR uh, flagship. I think I'm going to go with the Universities of Viral Snakes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Got two colleges here. You guys are good <laughs> Yeah, there's going to be some warring uh, universities, I, I guess, uh, between Mantis and TGL. Orbital drop and uh, oh, yeah, the, the Necro flagships. Oh my god. Tab, can't hear you. Your connection's kind of wow, that's ridiculous. Hold on. That's over. Can't, can't that's hear insane. you very well. Your connection... I think your connection is bad. You might be dropping one second. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Dude, that is insane. All right. All right. That all right. Is... All right. <laughs> yeah. And indoctrination. Yeah. Oh that's god. a nasty thought... draft right oh, there. Oh man, that is so freaking nuts. We have to we have to eliminate him. We and he's named his him. race the Space <laughs> Lions. It's super Literally aggressive race of Space be... Lion Tigers. Who who is that? Uh, is Arwise. Yeah, go ahead. What, the Space Lion Tigers. Space Ligers. So I got the Jolnar starting tech. Um, I've got unrelenting plus one to everything. Uh, I've got stall tactics, discard one action card from your hand. Stall, and then I got Quantum Entanglement, uh, but not really because I wanted it. Just because. Kind of um, yeah. I got Spec this... Ops 2, Magian, I got the Extra Flagship, uh, and that's pretty much it. I had a, I, I, I had a concept, and then I just kind of started free jazzing, but it's called the Jocknar. Nice. <laughs> what is the second tech? I, I got a feeling ahead. you won't be using much Quantum Entanglement quantum with this data. map. Yep, I won't be. Uh, but the the other thing I had instead of quantum entanglement was even worse. So I was like, whatever. Yeah, quantum is at least just like a meh. Yeah, Hunter has and his flagship the is the no Jolnar. See, like... that's what I'm going for is to win that fight. But man, <laughs> okay. R wise, I think I'm gonna have to get to R wise for best. That's cr that's such a wild faction up there. Like that is insane. Yeah, faction, faction wise, I think R-Wise is, uh, is like a strong contender. Like, legitimately insane that you're able to get all those things. I mean, Scavenge obviously. No, Scavenge even goes with it. Like, it's th it all makes sense. Looking for names here. Yeah. We should have had him put them in the chat or something. It might be well, Mantis. Okay. Um, <laughs> ooh, yeah. Who, who are we looking for? Who's, who's... Everybody other than purple and yellow. I'm okay with this. Okay, okay you got purple and yellow. So right? if we go to blue, the steam blue buddies. is the universities of Akan. Alright. So we're waiting for green. Uh, we need okay. White is the Hunter pirate goblin custodians. Pirate. Well, it won't be Matt. Goblin. Oh, oh god damn it. You either are second Tyler, or last, do that? Matt. Custodians. TG, right? Yeah, I don't, I, that's a lot to fit in there. You could I, work. just make pirate um, pyre. P-I-R. So that oh, none yeah. of his words are <laughs> yes! are for us. So he doesn't deserve it. <laughs> it's your game. Alright. The pirate oh goblin the, custodian. The pyre, go the pyre gob cusses. <laughs> <laughs> Just gob cusses for sure. All right, so at green we're looking at the the steamroller buddies. That's right. Steamroller we'll buddies. Just leave out the. It, it, which he started with. Give me your Did shit. Um, which I liked. It was. I, I thought that yeah, was a perfect name. Which is give me your oh, stuff. They have uh, <laughs> uh, to go with his floating right? factories. Or, um, and yeah. and also masters of trade. Uh, so I'm I'm good. Technological singularities. He'd say, "Give me your land and give me your tech." That's yeah. Not right. much right. And then arbiters, give me your ar give me your action cards. <laughs> if I make a deal. Yeah, with I you. don't know. I just never. So. I, I kind of put off the home systems too long, and let I me start. This was fine. Like them. Yeah, I, I, I once I, this one came up, I was like, you know what, that's good. Especially yeah, wait, case and Aaron in my starting hand. No one got six commodities. That's I just that didn't make it in the bag. Cool. Okay. Because there's 17 commodity tiles, but there's only... Shoo! Like so that was a lot to fill in, but right. these are the abilities that we are looking at for this draft. Um, yeah. We have not progressed into the strategy oh, phase. No. 
So we're we're at a good point, but my goodness, that's so much, so much information. It's a lot of data. I did it though. You're welcome. Probably more information in one place than anybody needs or wants. Oh look, um, actually, Sulfonic saying we got TG, and uh, let's take a look. Yeah, because you changed that flagship to Sardax, remember? And we never changed it back. Okay, so TG's flagship is actually, uh, I want to say, it's the. I validate you. Um, Son of Rog, which is the clan of Sars. Right. Boom. Okay. Good now. Uh, Perfect. Reveal We're all set. We yeah. I don't know why this one is uh, highlighted, but... I mean, there's probably some yeah. other data on there that's incorrect, yeah. but... Um, oh, man, you know, we're doing the best we can with what we got. Anyway. I, think, I think we're set. So we are still not picking strategy cards. Nope. So everybody's uh, choosing their secret objectives currently. Okay. Um, okay. Green I only, I only uh, has chosen the Lizix, learn the secrets of the cosmos. Because I was blue in the other well, one maybe I just... shouldn't just say all their secrets, huh? Because yeah. yeah. they're probably <laughs> listening in and cheating. Some of them. Uh, I, I would hope not. Most certainly. Uh, uh, Techlar Legion. That's right. Our first oh, yeah. What's, what's TG Welch's uh, special name here? T.G. Welch is the... All right. I think Ooh, he was Tyler the, got the six planets down. He was the universities of... Okay, so, what up? No, Snorcerer was the, the universities. No, he the did universities of, like, normal. Lady Space and Snakes again. Hold on. Let me see. Okay. That did not fix it. Just H? It's not showing up at yeah. the bottom of your screen? Yeah, yeah. It's just like, you know how your hand's at the bottom of your screen? It ain't for me. Like, I can see my hand on in my player area or whatever I can empty your mind. but it's not at the bottom of the screen i don't know why shapeless like water that's annoying i mean i could, I could you know what we're gonna do we're gonna hire a person whose only job is to fill out these You're saying spreadsheets yeah if anybody's willing to do it for free yeah. i mean we should hire them immediately exactly <laughs> Exactly. Um, uh, the universities. A viral snakes. Uh, wait, what? Okay, Sorry. so we're just gonna go with see, like, viral the menu on the snakes. Um, uh, these long-winded names. <laughs> these players. So attention-hungry. Look at me and my viral snakes. Hide hand. H. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you know, if you want to look at this, actually. Um, in the chat, you can go ahead and screenshot these abilities, and then you can always refer back to them. Um, but for now, we're going to go ahead and pull that display down and take a look at what we got going on with the players. You could try that was a lot. Okay. See if that helps. So we have a little description here from from Rwise. That's funny. Yeah. Super aggressive race of space lions or tigers. Um. They have, and, really and then he's just written some of his abilities. But yeah, he and that's a perfect description. He's going to be Tell looking what, to I'll be super aggressive. He's going to take what he wants from you uh, and everybody man, else, dude, keep it forever, time. and then you'll dude, just have to fun? say, um, yes, sir, so... thank you, now I can't switch may I have purple. another. Right, and if we're looking at yeah, Latani, indoctrination, orbital drop, um, he can pretty much say that with hands? some certainty. With oh, yes. Oh, no, yes. he just, no. he can't. Now, oh, well, something good? that's interesting okay, here, no, though, I, I is mean, that you might, um, if you leave his neighbor to the left fix something. I don't does know. have, yeah, I think there's something well, they have galactic threat, threat so right, I'm gonna leave real quick. Uh, they might have the ability to steal a racial ability in the agenda phase, right? So well, like Rwise like may never be able to get Latani 2s <laughs> if he's worried <laughs> about the possibility of, his, of somebody with <laughs> either technological singularity, stealing tech, or galactic uh, threat boom. taking tech in, a, yeah, in the agenda phase. Really threw, um, so we'll see if he ever there, I don't even goes that route of grabbing there. Latani twos, which would confused. make him even <laughs> more powerful. He's gonna want it, but can you afford to take it really? Right, he's gonna have to, there's a couple of steps to get there, right? Yes. Now, pretty, interestingly enough, We got a leadership enough, though, pick Yay, from Snorcerer, I believe. Yeah, you got me both, brother. <laughs> now, to I'm gonna, um, I'm actually going to give, uh, if you can't, just, let just it chime in on their conversation really quick to give uh, yeah. Scooter uh, uh, that. some options here. 
Hey, uh, real quick, so so Scooter, just remember as well that because you have the technological singularity, you can throw away transparent steel plating to get a Valfar assimilator to take anybody else's racial ability uh, as one of your techs. That's so true. it's you have to decide if you want that value now. Yeah, we talked about that earlier. I feel like I want transparent steel. Maybe that's really dumb and everyone thinks I'm an idiot, but I don't know. I oh, I, I, really uh, like I don't think that at all. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I hear Quantum Data Hub node was on the table. The trick yeah, is you, yeah. the trick is you yeah, sell I'm... people action cards and then forget you have transparent steel and then they can't play them. I mean, there is the argument that TG has e res. Right. That's the one. That's the one thing. Double e res makes for uh, a fun game. Uh, maybe I should. I was excited about transparent steel, but it feels like the smarter get is to leave myself open. I'll do it. I'll take the valid. Wait, well, uh, why does the universities of Pecan already have leadership drawn? Because I'm. Because we're going clockwise. Trade. Okay, so oh, also um, everybody's Every chosen time. their secrets, <laughs> and <laughs> they've also got the, the first two public objectives, way, which are you know? spend eight resource yeah, and draft. control six plans. Yeah, draft right, right, so spend money yes. and get land. Uh, right, so everybody's now. gonna be looking to make their moves uh, and, and make it happen. Game, the guy to my left gets speaker, and I'm super excited about it. And then I realize, fuck, that's not good. <laughs> Reverse clockwise. I'm gonna take warfare. And we've got a warfare pick from Wham Dog. Yeah, so right out the gate, not even shooting for tech, uh, and mostly because University of Khan ha is gonna take the Jocknar, man. right? Analytical and brilliant, so they don't need tech. They don't need to to pick tech. They just get it anyway. Um, Rwise obviously looking to rush those Latanis and and get all that good tech probably gonna he wants he wants sarween tools so he gets a free production on his ground forces uh, right. and maybe even dax if you might be able to he might be able to double tech depending on how trade well. goes for him <laughs> um so and would be looking chips. to get probably sarween and maybe dax if. Uh, blue does Oops, I'm ready. Uh, tg welts taking politics Okay, we got the picks up. And Scooter looking to get more floating factories uh, with construction. That's uh, a pretty good pick. Uh, that is pretty good, right? Yeah. It's a great pick. Even as last pick, netting construction when you have floating factories is pretty solid because you're getting like a ship that carries things and takes land and builds stuff for you for free. It's pretty awesome. It is. I would definitely agree with that. Because it's easier to sell more often, so you can pillage more. Exactly. Well, so did anybody stuff, grab? Yeah, yes, they did. So. And, uh, um. Got a deal Bob Trade, but I'll be uh, going right here first. TG Welch TG did TG grab TG telepathic, so he will be going first every round with the yes. Nalu's, uh zero strat ability. And when it comes to winning time, he'll be the first to score. Exactly. Um, Tyler, and he does do that thing want, that some players do that annoys me, is uh, right have their away. carriers flipped uh, upside down. Guild chips. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's done it purposefully um, or not. It's a four. Probably not. I know it's not great, but... It's, but uh, that will take us to Snorcerer with his first action here. Yeah, then I gotta convince him. I'm still right back to dealing with uh, Mantis. So and I'll, I'll just go ahead, I'll flip uh, everybody's... He did not get a good starting home planet with the Winu home system. Uh, in any case, well, I'll you go... might say it's not that good, but let's take a look at him so real quick. Either, you know. um, he's got guild ships, right? So he can trade with people even if they're not his neighbor. Yeah. So he's going to get cut in on trade, Different. right? Which offsets not having over here. a four-resource home system. Somebody's going to pop trade, and they're going to trade with him, and he's going to get some dough. So he'll be okay. Um, and then the fact that it's a four influence yeah, system these two planets. isn't all bad. I mean, it, it can get you a token or help you score a, an influence objective when you need it. Um, and if he's looking to grab Wellen, which I'm sure he is, uh, if you take a look at his, his faction text, he's got he's packing quantum data hub nodes, which um, is uh, he needs three three uh, well yellow technology that. prerequisites. Wellen's going to help him get there. Boo. His home system and Wellum yeah, combo for six influence, uh, which can help him get two tokens. So there's some efficiency there to be uh, had as well. Construction, I'll follow that. Absolutely. So we see an early pop on construction. Yeah. From. Um, 
Uh, Scooter here, Matt. Yeah, and um, that's a pretty standard move, especially if you got two planet home systems. You go ahead and pop that construction, make sure as few people right, so can capitalize on it as here, possible. Trade, um, gamer, and also for him, gamer. it's even more important because he's going to be moving those space docks around and building stuff with them. So that's a that's you know that's almost a you got to pop it real early. Right, and he and you're also stopping the other players from taking advantage of construction. Yeah. Um, nobody's really looking to lock down their home system for that. But no. that being said, our wise. And Snorcerer could follow if they would like to double dock or drop a PDS into the first system they were able to grab prior. And we do see Snorcerer doing that, dropping down a PDS on Grawl here. Maybe. Wait, let me think about that. Cause I... So now we're up with Mantis. I'd yeah. probably be convinced to pop it second. Not positive they're, yet, though. They're talking about some kind of agreement about the timing of popping uh, agreement, technology. Yeah, uh, popping politics. So we see. Oh, I mean, a, sorry. We see a, an early trade, uh, trade. cruiser oh, wait, over here from trade. Mantis to trade. become neighbors oh, with yeah, T.G. Yeah, Welch. <laughs> um, or is he doing that? That's interesting because Mantis has trade, so and he is taking the effort. Uh, they are also trading. It looks like research agreement for something. This one is only for looks. This is the display case. Yeah. So they basically have gone you trade like agreement it, for research agreement. Phase down if right. You don't have so. It. Oh, is that what Mantis happened? Mantis basically said, "I'm going to give you four commodities straight up to give me your research agreement." So yeah, he sent like over the cruiser and all of that. Right. Interesting. <laughs> so he's so uh, I guess nobody's looking to take that equidistant Lodor round one then. Evil. Um, well, no. T.G. Welch started with Gravity Drive. Uh, I don't imagine he's going to jump. I mean, really, that is that is uh, R-Wise's planet, and everybody knows it, including R-Wise, right? So nobody's going to look to take Lodor, not from R-Wise. Because, I mean, you could. I think he wel would welcome it because he could just <laughs> go in there, take it back. I'm going to get a ground force, you know. Uh, off of indoctrination if I have to do it, so... You're going to have to intern in order for oh. people to... Yeah. yeah, that's a new thing, the black player getting intern. And we do see T.G. Welch grabbing some more planets here, so he, of course, grabbed Bregler to first. I don't know that I'm going to... And then it appears that he uh, did pick honest. a good starting <laughs> fleet with two carriers, so he's I, able to I, go I, move I into Rescal on Cornique uh, reasonably quickly as well. The, the public objectives, because I'm so just yeah. like... Oh, it'd yeah, be he's, cool he's getting his land. He's yeah. smart to draft a do. lot of... I feel like um, exactly how I felt A pretty good starting fleet with two carriers. Actually got, looks like, Sardax starting fleet if i'm not mistaken um this if i hold on to leadership do you plan on uh, buying which, tokens with it or no um i don't think so so no. snorts are asking I mantis if he plans on buying tokens, tokens here. here so i don't think yeah. I because i was gonna i was gonna like i don't know if i want to i'm thinking of poverty now but i i want to still be able to convince you to do trade as soon as possible <laughs> Um, um, well, you have Guildship, so we can trade, yes, you don't, uh, cause I, right now I can trade to three people, so yeah, I, I can pop trade probably. Well, I'll just do leadership now if you don't mind. Cause I forgot you had guild ships. Mm, so that's why the discussion is there, is because, uh, yeah. so, Snorcerer yeah, does there, not want there to be any animosity over popping leadership, um, because he has guild He's ships, he there. can definitely trade with Mantis whenever he decides to go ahead and pop trade. Yeah. So he does, he does uh, go ahead and pop leadership as his second That's action it. of round one. Uh, Mantis, is there any chance of you ending up in the beta so that you and I can trade? And this um, is pretty standard. You know, everybody's <laughs> looking to get in a wormhole or it's it's become see, somebody's neighbor ass, right? um, no. so they, they can trade and make I a little bit of dough because that even a couple of a couple of commodities, trade goods, um, oh, makes shit, all the Mantis, difference actually in, have in the early rounds. Yeah, yes, like, especially yeah. round one, being able to take advantage of trade. Here, I mean, that can be the difference between right, yeah. um, getting started on technology on your technology path round one, or yeah, essentially being very behind in okay, acquiring yeah, technology here, for the game. Now, here's the great thing for Sorcerer though, um, is 
Uh, all right. He, I think he wants I'm to double tech, which is why he's even talking about it. But he could really just spend one strat token and get a tech without spending resources. Uh, he wants to obviously do the Jolnar oh, thing and double tech um, when the techs pop. So that's probably why he wants some money, go three for four or whatever, get some change yeah. in his pocket. But it's it's not a necessity. And it isn't a necessity for Jolnar. Like, if nobody wants to deal with you, you can't make the money, just take one tech, build some more ships, build an extra dreadnought, you know, um, and put a little put a little muscle on the board if you need to. Dude, that definitely does make sense. This is insane. Like, like legit. There should be like a, there should be like a Franken draft uh, all stars contest where you like elect people's drafts and then they should all have to play when you have six like crazy ones. Not that yeah. that would make any sense because they'd all have to fit together, yeah, which doesn't work, but whatever. Have Litani. <laughs> RY's commenting in the chat that he has the, he feels he has the worst slice. Yeah, six. and and have the Franken and here's the thing is the thing he militarily is uh, going to yeah, be very be, strong, hey, but I'll he necess he w isn't going to necessarily <laughs> nice. unless he starts land grabbing MST. early, going to be able to do what? a ton a night? <laughs> with the military well, because I mean, of, because yeah, of his influence because, situation. Right, you guys are um, people, people have so jobs that are he, not while just playing that, he playing is very powerful on the board, he's that's got some true. chinks in his armor. He's not going to be invincible. Pop your trade agreement. Are you going to pillage me? So we do see a trade pop from Mantis oh, yeah. here. Oh, come on. You just um, me and then who has guild ships? No, dude. He has uh, six. Sorcerer does. <laughs> and then Mantis isn't really neighbors with very many players, though. Oh, no, I'm sorry. He is actually neighbor. He moved that uh, trade cruiser. I forgot about it. So he is neighbors with half the board. Uh, yeah, he's, he's yeah, got so, a lot of neighbors right up uh, front. We'll, we'll do um, one more neighbor. And now cats that he's not neighbors with, he can still trade with. So uh, I'll give you two he's like established some very good trade relations up front. And he's going to make okay. a killing off of this. Yeah, definitely a good move. So we will see how many trade goods he does come up with. So he's working out. He works out a trade with uh, Jolnar. I believe he gave... Um, our Jolnar player, <laughs> his trade agreement for that, yes. uh, the research agreement, Yellow. correct? Um, yeah, he threw four trade I'll goods at TG Welch for the yeah. research agreement, then also refreshed then TG Welch and traded with four. him as well, um, and three for four, yeah. and pillaged him a trade good okay. in addition to that. So oh, he, he does, actually he does have pillage. Later. Right. Yeah, I'd love to. So yeah, he 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 pillaged the guy he bought research agreement from for getting getting the money off of the research agreement that he paid for and, it and probably like... knew he could do it the whole time when he did it so he also let uh scooter refresh for an ode trade good yeah anybody that pays the debt of one commodity this is weird will this is be, be able to probably the first refresh. time ever that i follow um, every single strat card on round one that is really crazy <laughs> and it looks like <laughs> who's that saying they're they're following every strat card here it's was that snorzer because mantis took trade well yeah he you're welcome he took leadership, so he's gonna get. He mm. just took a bunch of extra strat tokens, um, so that he oh, could man, follow right the secondary no ability of everything out there. Oh wait! Good. So we do have a technology pop from RYs here. Why did it do that? Yeah, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. maybe he's going back on it because uh, some sounds like sounds like Scooter <clears> who might be to trying to convince him not to. Uh, well, we're not. Nate. You know, it's it's not worth it. Just just do your thing. Cool. Hey, um, so the objectives, ruffians, are the eight resources, and uh, I believe it was six non-home. Yeah, yeah. Yep. No, Span borders. Um, we got six non-home, and we've got eight resources. And, oh, and, uh, I forgot to, monument. To, shit, I forgot to talk to, to be able to copy tech. Purple on his turn. Wait, what about? Uh, All right, so he does go ahead and pop technology. You and you it going. looks like uh, he is going to pick up Daxiv and Hyper. Oh. Well, right off the okay. bat. <laughs> yep, yep. double jumping. Rough. He's going to need yeah. that extra command yeah. okay, counter yeah. with Hyper That's every fine. round because he has a, the low oh, influence we, slice. He uh, solved that problem. Since we're yeah, um, well, I mean, and he, he also good. would like some extra technologies to take advantage of orbital um, or extra fun, command like counters, like rather, good, to take advantage of orbital yeah. drop when possible. Yeah. And you can look for him to get production biomes next. I think they were like Actually, I have no idea how that happened because... I have the right number of tokens on my sheet, so. That's weird. There's, um, 
So we're getting we're, this is like the uh, the round of strategy cards right now. We also see Rwys. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and he's gonna pop politics. It will be interesting to see here. if he makes a, a deal for speaker token. It looks like they they were not able to come so, to to some sort of agreement. No, DG Welch and Rwys here for the speaker token. <laughs> if you oh draw an unexpected action right now, you can have it. <laughs> Okay, so they are discussing some sort of deal for the speaker. Oh, no, he's already, he's already drawn the cards. <laughs> so the speaker token will end up on uh, TG Welch uh, for this round. Yeah, and he's looking at the agendas now. Um, there's wormhole reconstruction, which uh, means anybody on a wormhole places a command counter there with if they have ships there. Okay. Uh, and shared research, which could potentially negate that uh, nebula that is in between him and his neighbor. Mm. Um, neither, I, he's, uh, wait, he's probably... I didn't even, woo, I wasn't even done picking my text. I would say uh, he probably just I'll drops them both on top, but it looks like he's bottoming it. wormhole research. And also, I will follow Paul. He bottomed both of them. So, so probably was not just, was not interested in either of those coming and up. And I think the thought process behind that is just like get something a little bit more gangster Let's out there. Tokens. Let's just have something real gangster. Something that's really going to have an impact on this yeah. board. I think that that's what he's looking for. That does make sense. All right. Um, so Snorcer is up. He does have uh, three tokens left in his command. Oddities. Uh, his tactic section, rather. Yep, and he's still, um, still got so plenty of options here. What's that? Yeah, because people people still owe Mantis money even if I do a deal with them, so it doesn't really matter, right? Yeah, I'm just trying That's to. Correct. And Snorcer is always trying to make an extra buck. That's kind of his thing. He's it, always he's always looking yeah, to wheel and deal a little he's bit. He's looking well, to just that? get something. <laughs> just Anytime there's answering. something to be got. Uh, That's right. Right. That's correct. Absolutely. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I, sometimes I can't hear. All right. Well, while he uh, wheels and deals, go ahead yeah. and take us, take yeah, it over so for a seven. That yeah, sure. Case, then. You going downstairs? Yep. All right. I will go here. Uh, poop. Uh, Snorcerer just taking his planet. Standard oh, stuff. My turn. Um, let's take a look at what he's done so far as technolo technology. He's got uh, Starring Tools, Plasma Scoring, and Gravity my Drive. So I think what he did there is he just spent one token to get the tech uh, and did the analy used Analytical to grab Gravity Drive. So like I said, he didn't necessarily need to double tech there. Um, he just went ahead and used the one token to take the one really valuable tech in gravity drive uh, with analytical. So really, really good stuff. Uh, it's now Scooter's turn. Let's see. So what is Matt looking to do here? Is he, he's just being a little threatening? Uh, I uh, think I he's I here yet, but I trying to establish trade relations, <laughs> actually. Um, he does have commodities. You want a free military uh, support? So it might be looking to do... Uh, <laughs> give give Mantis uh, a trade good to go ahead and wash him a bit here, That's right? That's pretty funny. Well, of course. Yeah, I mean, that was the deal. When you get refreshed, pretty standard. Oh, I messed up. Shit, I'll refresh you as long as uh, you give me up. one of those trade goods. Yep. So right, so so he owes him one, yeah. and then he'll probably be looking to say, hey, I'll give you that one, I'll owe you, and then wash the other three. Yeah, and, and what, and what uh, yep. Scooter's done here, what, what, what he's done is – He's elected to not even Sorry, get a tech round one and energy invest energy more energy. on his board presence and just get um, <laughs> a bunch of pieces of plastic on the board. And this is why he's looking to trade here is because That's he wants so more money for when he goes to take Quan. He wants more My money when he does it so he can build more I'm units. I'm also so, okay. <laughs> uh, just looking to get maximum value here. And I, I don't know if a, a deal actually occurred there, but I did see military support yeah, moving around a bit. That. Uh, I don't know. I'm if sure was... if it's out there, and I believe it was who had it. Was Wait, it? Uh... About your tech situation. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look. Uh, was it TG? Sorry, you got this from Tyler. So, so he military got support from the research agreement, and then chaos uh, mapping from the uh, yeah. Mantis Soul. did own military yeah. support. Four, four, <laughs> oh, four, four, yeah. That and I'll so yeah, and he's yeah, looking yeah. to sell that. He doesn't have any oh, strat tokens right now, so he is definitely looking to. 
and you have one extra commodity sell oh, no, uh, that military no. support right it would be absolutely worth it right and a lot of and you're gonna find a lot of buyers for it it's a, it's a hot commodity he's got it back now i think somebody's maybe already placed their top uh, player warfare their so units. We, we do see a warfare pop here from uh wham dog yeah everybody's um, gonna get exactly what they want everybody's yeah so everything. we've got we've got uh wham dog like, using warfare we've got mantis following and we've got Snorcerer following as well. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and take a look at Snorcerer's build. It looks like he's planning on acquiring a Dreadnought and a couple of ground forces on his home system. No doubt in order to grab Mihar Zol. Yeah, every you know everybody's gonna grab that easy land uh, that they can get. Now, Snorcerer, are you gonna do any gravity rift round so turn one? So the chat stuff? does say, <laughs> or the uh, yeah, the, the, the capping chat I'm box here does say that Mantis followed okay. warfare, uh, but I don't see I him building that. anything. Don't worry about that. Um, Is he still considering a build here? I don't know how these planets were that. exhausted. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's, well, I mean, probably I just, just, he's just thinking out of build, I guess. Now, now, like, do I want to put... Yeah, no, they're going to fuck me up. My flagship? I, I, I mean, who knows what he's thinking right now. <laughs> Already and the thing is, it. how many trade gets is he going to spend? One, I could only bring one dude. Yeah, so you got to... It's bombardment for the... Well, actually, no, I have a PDS. PDS. So yeah, yeah. I'm fucked. It's yeah. not happening, okay. dude. So we've got really planet acquisition out of our wise. He's picking up Tibba. No. And then on to... Oh, and Tibba's great. Because uh, in, in what you can look for, he, he's going to grab... He's going to use that blue skip and take gravity drive round two. Mm. Yeah, he might he might yeah, slow yeah, roll in on the production on. biomes. Did you follow Warfare? Or to what? snack up gravity drive, but um, yeah. he the um, world is his oyster really right now. He can do whatever. Yeah, guys, he what wants. Do right, so we might be looking for our wise, uh, like you stated at the beginning of the game, to end up grabbing Mechatol early, here, dropping those Latanis with indoctrination on Mechatol, and essentially well, somebody uh, holding it very strongly, <laughs> tempting <laughs> anyone to to try and mess with him there. Oh yeah, Matt. Yeah, he he's. He's going to be making some moves. So uh, what do you think about this? It's a little bit interesting. So we see TG Welch moving to acquire Delboth as Zihon uh, with just straight up ground forces. I guess he knows that, that he, uh, I mean, he, not that he even has any other air power to bring. Uh, so just go ahead and bring those ground forces, land them there. If Scooter wants to try and feel a little bit froggy and enter into hey, his Tyler, system, I, I well, you got to come through some ground forces. At least. I know the carrier is going to get demolished. Speed, yeah, know. and uh, yeah, what's your and he might be feeling he might he's probably going to feel a little froggy what? having a You're space dock right there to be able to say oh, I can just take all of this stuff over um, there, drop it on one planet, and then that's my planet for a floating factory, no yeah. less. Yeah. So, uh, it, when you got those floating factories, it's really tough not to think about all the things mm. you can do with them and do some of those things. You yeah, like, and they, it's hard to resist. And they are very dangerous, but you you want to be careful about not putting uh, just all of your production uh, out on forward front line spaces four. where you can be eliminated, of course. That's true. You, you don't, I mean, I unless you know that nobody can touch you, you, you know, uh, then you wouldn't want to do that. So, so it's it is Snorcerer's turn, but it looks you know like impossible about this <laughs> is remembering what it looks like. Red and green yeah, are trying exactly. to discuss some deal over an action card. That. It's just like, I'm, 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 what I do, and if yeah. I get blind, uh, and something. I mean, I can tell oh, you, well, whatever. Yeah, like <laughs> that's that's how I play. So who's got the? <laughs> While Snorcerer so does I, go ahead and pick really up the like over here with this this dreadnought uh, frank and draft faction though because i can't Ground remember all the things that you do because they all kind of go together and they're scary <laughs> uh oh whoops uh, sorry i'm gonna take back the turn uh so yeah tyler um i know you're looking at uh matt's offer but i still have my trade agreement for your research agreement well i mean that's virtually the same thing with him because yeah at least when I do it with him, he's got the same commodity pool as you. I could attempt to negotiate a no pillage. <laughs> I can also I can also give you an extra trade good with it if you want. Hmm. Um, let me see. I was talking to Matt here too. Okay. Um, I just don't want to end my turn because it passes it to Matt and then he can trade before me. But yeah, I'll end turn and if you, whatever. Yeah, I got options, so I gotta kind of feel this out. So Matt, on yours, you won't do it for two. Would you do the card plus a trade good? And please let us know, chat, by the way, because we are obviously listening in to well, the deals you know here. What? If you cannot hear these players making deals, I'm pretty sure the volume's okay, but go ahead and let us know. 
if you can't. Yep, so I, I think what everybody's really so wants the researcher agreement I could give it is to you, what think. everybody's trying to get, I think. Um, so, unless Mantis agrees to um, not pillage it. Right Mantis now, I think what's on the table trade good or you is good, Scooter's deal, unexpected so. action <laughs> card <laughs> and a trade good. <laughs> Uh, four. Yeah, I think, I think three, three, if we look oh, here, man. we see that um, uh, <laughs> Snorcerer was the one who picked up that research the agreement card, yep. during this round. And the deal right. looks like it's been ahead. sealed. Um, unexpected action and trade good for research agreement. You know me, I'm all about the So I guess that T.G. Welch acquired the research agreement earlier. Dude. Tyler's um, because it should have been it started in Snorri's no the research <laughs> agreement is <laughs> really is his card that's TG Welch's property out. he sold it to Mantis yeah, who promptly used it I believe to grab right but Snorri started with it in the Frankendraft and now it's been making rounds around the table apparently no Snorri didn't pick research he didn't draft research agreement who did then because we TG Welch Okay, we have that. Uh, yeah, what is it Oh wait, yeah. Okay. Then what did what is Snorcerer's promissory then? Snorcerer must have um, cybernetic enhancements. The L1Z1X's promissory. Okay. That is correct. Uh, and I mean, uh, on, I think on TG's and it's probably you probably feel like it's best to get that uh, unexpected action map, out of uh, scooter's hands yeah, like nothing. you don't want unexpected a action in the sure. hands of the dudes who moves around space stops Funny how when I think and for really for the combos, for the chat's knowledge uh, everything um so essentially just what happened was our green player scooter yeah, here was like, oh, able to take arbiters during the draft in order to trade action cards during the action we did a first draft game where one player just played as and has already star. already done that. <laughs> I'm, I'm um, turned a, one of those cards uh, uh, that he's sure. able to sell into a research agreement. It's so really that you can play a with like better commodities and a better and, and solid for TG2. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Home system. That's like what you're off. What are you talking about there, Sulfonic? <clears throat> okay. Oh. Yeah, baby. Oh, I'm gonna switch. So uh, yeah, I'm not sure exact. Okay, so the action that we saw there was a Aaron Amir grab, or I'm not sure what uh, Mantis did there. But we are on to Purple, who's gonna go ahead and uh, grab Souter. So now, uh, Hunter, it should uh, tell you which systems you activate. I'm not sure exactly Probably. what he's moving in order to. How did he grab Sautor just now? So he had already had Sautor uh, moving his dread out, oh, yeah. Wait, but then he the popped Warfare, uh, ah, okay. put the token, so, and moved it to Arnor. I see. Okay. So just grabbing those, Arnor, not uh, Arnor lore. It's, it's really just yeah, the. With his the, dread not there. I've never noticed anything else breaking, but when you activate you a system sure on your turn, on this, buddy. like you oh, draw down a token, yeah, it tries yeah, to yeah, match the name. It tries to match the name of the token to your faction sheet, but some of the faction sheets that have the word of in the title have it capitalized and others don't. So you have to put it all lowercase for, for it to... I don't either, Sylphonic. I don't. Oh, I, I, I do not know either. So a pretty... Uh... A reasonably eventful round one so far. A lot of wheeling, a lot of dealing, a lot of planet grabbing, a lot of uh, a lot of actions by our players here. But that's what happens in Frankendraft. You can really get off to a big start. Yeah, pretty pretty standard stuff. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, space normally what you see more often in Franken Franken games than, uh, press, um, than regular ones well, is everybody press, press getting everything they want, right? Uh, in regular uh, games, you know, my right, you, there's sometimes you have a really great round. Um, and get everything you want. Pass. In a Franken game, it's pretty much like that every time. Like, yep, I got everything I wanted, and it went exactly how I wanted. Just because you're so powerful. Right. You have so much going for you. Um, and so it just feels like nothing can go wrong <laughs> early. Now, where things do go wrong is when you start running into other monsters. And that's, that happens round two. Right. <laughs> so, so it's yeah, going to so be we'll, a we'll lot be of looking for some competition to pop off pretty yeah, quickly. There will be some action for sure. Yeah, which, uh, and there, there doesn't look to be an agenda phase round one. Um, oh yeah, yeah, and, and part of that is, I mean, you have that completely barren uh, Mechatol Rex. Yeah, that definitely contributed um, to that, right? And and uh, uh, so it just, it just that. seems like so much of yeah, a leap to get there, probably. right? So, so our uh, Mantis rather was able to grab Chaos Mapping very early. 
um, yeah. and then was yeah, able to forward. chaos map out, I guess with yeah. trade goods it looks like. Yeah, he was able to chaos map out He's a right Dreadnought onto his home system, uh, <clears> and then he passes. We've also got a pass also, from Wham Dog. we've got a pass from Snorcer, <laughs> we have a pass from TG Welch, we have a pass Man, from Scooter, and our only draft, player left to act right now is Rwise. Village. Like, there's no way that pillage isn't gonna yeah, be. Yeah, unless, unless it's just not in the bags, right? Because the abilities are actually oh, right. the one that uh, I think there's something like 12 abilities that don't make it. That's quite a few abilities. And we have a pass from yeah, Rwise as yeah, well. So we are going to be moving anything? into round two very shortly. Um, I'm going to. Is anyone else? So I, I just went ahead and changed my color. So we're in the dark, yeah, right? We can't see any of their mm -hmm. secret objectives. Right, yep. We can't see any of their action cards. Um,. It'll be a surprise when it it'll happens. be a surprise. We're we're just watching it like you're supposed to watch, not knowing what the hell's going on. And uh -huh. I think it's better that way. Mm -hmm. um, and then I don't have to keep clicking in turn, so uh, uh, it's a win all yeah, around. That, that's just too much for you to manage. No, one I one button click. I I can't be that kind of responsibility is too much for me. Ooh, so we do see a secret objective pickup already from uh. Oh yeah, a nice easy uh, one. Uh, that's uh, gonna be nothing. Honor. Who's playing so as the technical side? That Sardar? is um, okay. Hunter. Or no, that's Matt. Matt has scored the, learned yes. to use of the cosmos because he had all those the nice anomalies what? around his home, and, yes, and uh, all he had to do the, was just the do normal stuff and score it. So that's great. That's the main reason we kind of expected. Now, doesn't he need an actual ship, too, though, in his home drawing, system in order to claim this? Well, he moved that destroyer out to Tekron Torcon, uh, which actually gives him. Three oh, but systems. the nebula counts as well. Yep. That's fine. Yeah, the nebula. Oh, so he's got too. those three systems lined up yeah. in a row there. So there we go. Right, 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 right. So you might want to just put them back in your bag, but whatever. Yeah. So we see uh, our Jolnar token, at least that's what's being represented for TG Welch here, and then Scooter Alrighty. or Matt are the ones who are able to score. Um, Spend five trade goods and eight. Yeah, and uh, and TG uh, definitely. Of course, Welch is the only one who is scoring a. Um, let's go ahead and update this board too. Yeah, and he's prioritized the, uh, scoring the six plants because he can probably expect to lose at least one of those planets next round. Um, Matt is going to be looking to take stuff, and he's in the position to do it. Uh, and there's a there's an expand borders public objective out there, so uh, he's going to be looking to, to he might do it gently, but he's Five definitely looking to make a move. Right at my doorstep. Sucks. <laughs> uh, you yeah. invited me in, so that's your fault. You said you should move here so we could trade. So let's. Diplomatic relations, nice. though, you got to use it sparingly. <laughs> Why? You're across the table. What are you gonna do? I just go easy on green and blue and pillage you in yellow. I'll just force other people to kill you. 